Hi everyone and welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to replace our old wireless router with the new router from CenturyLink. And we're going to show you how to swap these devices out quickly and easily. That way your network is only down for a minute or less. Guaranteed. Next, on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, this Linksys router is four years old now. It's not Wi-Fi 6. And we've had issues with this router with connectivity going in and out randomly. So it's time to replace it. This is our new CenturyLink wireless router. If you look in the back, we have one WAN port, four LAN ports, same as our Linksys router. The only difference is there's no mounting screws in the back to mount this to the wall. But that's okay, I have a shelf and that's where I'll go. And guys, if you like these kind of videos, be sure to check out our playlist, Ultimate Home Networking and Ultimate Home Automation. We have dozens of videos that can help you understand networking and home automation. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to program this new router with the exact same SSID, password, and security protocols as the Linksys router. So the main reason why we're gonna program this router the same as the Linksys router is that once we're all connected with a new router and we turn this on, all the IoT devices, network devices will connect automatically with no issues. So first, let's go ahead and plug the power in to the router and then plug the ethernet cable one end into the LAN and one end into the back of the PC. All right guys, we're all plugged in and we're ready to program the router. So first, in your browser window, type in 192.168.0.1. Sometimes the address can be 192.168.1.1. It just depends on the router. Next, type in the provided password. Next, you want to go to Wireless Setup. We'll make all the changes here. First, you want to change the network name or the SSID. This name needs to match the one on your original router. And ours is Rebels 01 2.4 GHz. And next, make sure the security type is the same, WPA2 Personal, which is the same on the Linksys router. Next, use the custom password, and this password needs to be the same as the original router. All right, we're ready to install the new router. All right, plug in the power for the new router. Okay, next I'm gonna unplug this wire that comes from our fiber optic modem, I'm going to plug it into the WAN connection up here on the back of our new router. Okay, I'm going to plug this into the WAN connection here. And just a heads up, all the wires you see are Cat6. Got to make sure I have enough slack in here to get to it. Okay. There we go. Next, we're going to plug these two in there as well. Hopefully I have enough as well. So we're basically plugging all the wires from the old router into the new router. So you may or may not have the same situation. But whatever wires you have in your old router, you need to plug them into the new router. And lucky for me, I had enough slack in the wires behind the wall to reach the new router. And if I didn't, I'd have to run some new wires. And once you plug these wires in, you should have green lights on the new router. And we have all green lights. Now I'll just turn this off. I don't need this. I'm going to unplug it as well for now. I'm going to have to put this wire, run it up through the hole out here eventually. I think I'll leave the router mounted for a while. It looks pretty cool. So the goal of today's video was to show you how to install a new router and replace an existing router with the least amount of downtime as possible. And from the time we unplugged everything from the old router and plugged it into the new router, it was less than one minute. So we achieved our goal. Our tablets, IoT devices, TVs, and smartphones are all connected. And guys, remember to visit our Patreon page where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive.